All right. Um, let's get ready for read aloud. And our story is Soft Rain. So get your read aloud notebook out. We'll always use our read aloud notebook for read aloud. And we'll always start with a new character trait. So I'm going to give you a new character trait today. I already have it up here on the wall. So let's look at the wall. The word is ingenious. And it means the quality of being clever or inventive. So in your notebook, number five is ingenious. I just put clever or inventive beside of mine. So I've got clever and inventive. Now, um, I can think of some people who are ingenious, who are really clever. Um, even in this classroom, as we have been building things like ramps to see how fast our cars could go when we were doing force in motion, um, we had some ingenious groups. Caleb McNeely's group were ingenious. They had a really great ramp. Um, Emma Francisco, her group, they were ingenious. They were clever and inventive. They came up with cool ways to make their ramp. So while we're reading today, we're listening for people who might be ingenious. And you're going to hear someone who is ingenious today. So now that you have that written down, I want you to go back to the beginning of your notebook where you're jotting down just like a quick sketch of what you think is most important. Because we can find the main idea in a fiction novel by sketching the picture. So we're gonna sketch our picture and then we're gonna come up with a chapter title and that title will reflect the main idea. So here's our new chapter for today. At the end of three days, all the silu had been planted. What is silu? Corn. Then Soft Rain watched and counted. In just five days, the weeds appeared. Every morning while she helped father weed, she wondered if Green Fern was helping um Uncle Swimming Bear. Every day on her way home, she picked colorful, dainty violets for grandmother. At last the day came when soft rain could not see over the tops of the corn plants. The sea lou has grown taller than both of us, Hawk Boy, she said. Tonight is the celebration. The green corn dance. Yes, this is the last day to weed, Father announced. Tonight there will be singing and dancing, and you will see Green Fern and Aunt Key. He looked up at the sun, then back down at Soft Rain. Hungry? Go home to Mother and Grandmother. Take pet. Hawk Boy and I will finish soon. I'm not hungry. Hawk Boy bragged. Pet must have been, though. She ran faster than Soft Rain. With her cabin in sight, Soft Rain tugged on the rope. Wait, Pet. I want to pick some flowers for Grandmother. She won't be able to attend the dance tonight. Flowers will comfort her. She unfastened Pet, hanging the rope around her own neck. Pet ran home ahead of Soft Rain. Grandmother was sitting by the hearth, stirring the soup. She smiled when she smelled the flowers that Soft Rain moved back and forth under her nose. Because you bring me happiness with the lovely flowers, I have made something for you, she said, handing Soft Rain a small doll decorated with beads and quills. We read that in social studies that they decorated their clothes with porcupine quills. Oh, look, Mother, isn't it the prettiest doll you've ever seen? Soft Rain embraced the little doll. Grandmother, I'll love it forever, she said. I'll show it to Green Fern at the dance this night, and in the morning I promise to tell you all about green corn. Crash! Bang! The door flew open. Soft Rain dropped the flowers onto Grandmother's lap and ran behind her chair, shaking all over. She heard words from a white man whose voice was deep and loud. Come with me now. 
You and you, not the old blind one, he growled. Shuddering, soft rain peered from behind grandmother. She saw a tall soldier wearing big boots. She stomped, I'm sorry, he stomped toward her and pulled on her arm, trying to drag her away from grandmother. The doll fell on the floor. Another soldier with a gun picked up the doll and kicked it under the bed. When Soft Rain tried to get it, Big Boots twisted her arm. Ah! she yelped. Mother gasped and reached out to Soft Rain, but the soldier with the gun stopped her. They talk too fast, Mother said. I can't understand what they say, Soft Rain. Oh, Mother, they say to come with them, but not. Grandmother, what's happening? Soft Rain clutched Grandmother's hand in hers. Mother's voice became a whisper. We can't go with them. Father, Hulk Boy, they will not know. Tell her our orders are to take you now. No waiting, yelled the soldier with the gun. We'll find the others, and they will come later. Take what you can tote, nothing more. He understands our language, Soft Rain thought. She began to cry. Stammering, she repeated the soldier's words to her mother. It is over, Mother said hoarsely. She quickly pulled blankets from the bed and raked everything off the table into the blankets. Bread, a whole side of bacon, spoons, pans, dishes, a knife, and three cups. One was Grandmother's cup. I can carry a heavy bundle, she muttered, glaring at the soldiers in disgust. Soft Rain held Grandmother's hand until Big Boots pulled her away. Through her tears, she saw Grandmother sitting stiffly in her chair, holding Pet. Was she crying? A colored blur lay on the floor. It was Grandmother's flowers. Okay. Now I want you to think about what you drew. I'm going to show you. Lily drew this for me. So this was Lily's picture. She's a wonderful artist and she drew a lot of things happening. So she's got the corn in the beginning being ready or green corn. She has um, them pulling the weeds. And she's got the doll with all the pretty beads on it. And she's got big boots pulling on soft rain and soft rain crying. So think about this picture. What's the thing that stands out the most to you? What is it mostly about? Now, I have one group who's a little ahead, so they helped me with this already. And this was their choice for a title, but you may title it something different. They titled it The Disaster. They had some other titles, and I'm going to tell you what they were. The next one that someone came up with was It's Happening, because Mother was like, oh, it's happening now. She had been maybe anticipating this. Then someone said the doll, because the doll is kind of a big deal in this. And the doll's mentioned several times. Then we had the unsurprising event. Because some people, like Kate, she had been saying, I, she thought that um, soft train was being naive. And that was one of our words. And she said she even thought maybe the rest of the family was being a little naive because Kate said she felt like something bad was going to happen. And now it has. Then we have the white man's attack. Okay, so you may choose the title that you feel is the best. We voted and they voted on, I'll show you where it's at on our chart here. The white man's attack was what they voted for. So this is chapter five. So if you'll write in your notebook, chapter five is you choose one of those. Now, I'm going to jump back to our character traits for a second because our word was ingenious and it meant clever or inventive. And there was somebody who was pretty ingenious in this chapter. 
even though it was a tough chapter and sad and scary, um, this is what some groups told me. They said, grandmother was ingenious because she made a doll even though she's blind. So you might want to use that. Grandmother was ingenious because she made a doll even though she is blind. So if you want to copy that one down, you know, you can stop the video and copy that one down in your notebook. We'll read chapter six tomorrow.